Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land. Here we are, we've got our two trays here and these have been selected for bells. So we'll also load all of our bells, so operating position, operating position. Because it's time to pick up the silage. But we're not gonna sell them. No we're not, because after, like, in the last episode of where we converted 50,000 years of cheap silage, we made, what was it, like, 67,000 years of digestion or something. So if we go all the way down here, past greenhouses, so all the way at the bottom here. At the end, yes, yeah, 69,000 years of digesting. And if we have a cut sell prices, digest eight, thirteen hundred per thousand liters. Compared to silage, we go all the way up here, is at a mere three forty ish per thousand a year. So we get was that five times yeah, four times the money. And an extra, what was it, 20, no, 30 or so percent? I'll take that out of pain day of the week, so. But finally, we managed to actually unload these bells. No idea what happened, it's just, all well, suddenly, let us unload them, so. Actually, you know what, let's go and turn. Fortune can't unload all of them at once, so I'm thinking what we're going to have to do is we pull out of here, disconnect that, get this one filled up first of all. Now we're getting all of our bells back, which is about bloody time because I was a little worried of will we actually get our bells back. So that is 34 bells. And now we'll just go and grab this. So let's say we've got the cotton harvest to, not cotton harvest, cotton plantation to sort out. Not enough space for silage bells, yeah, no. in total. There we go, just gonna do that. Hopefully they can be just accepted straight into the BGA. I'm not having to deal with oh, it's just annoying. There we go. 64 bells. Sword's going down, which is just how it looks. Alright, it's going down, 170 bells left. But yeah, my thinking is hopefully they can just go straight into the BGA. If we have to get a okay, equipment and they're going to be in manually, all oh, that would take a while. Worst case scenario, we can whack them into our silo over there. 
they will accept the bells and then yeah just instruct them from there but if I can avoid that I would Signage is on. So set that store. We will collect the methane. Okay, distribute that as much as you can. Let's set that to store and store. So yep, that distribution, distribution. I don't want that. We want that. Yes. No, not in Surrey. Silage. Yes. So we want to turn both of those on. Yeah, I think what I have to do is get a. Some form of wheel loader or tanker over here. And they will ease up, so yeah, let's go and do that.
and there we go. So finally got all of the bells over. Yeah, well, that's some weird issues with that bell storage. Like, first of all, it wasn't then the spawn bells in the last couple of episodes. But now, well, we're doing a bit of a tipsy topsy here. Um, yeah, as I was emptying it, it wouldn't refresh the like, number of bells in storage. So it'll say X amount of bells in storage out of a thousand and total bells in there. It didn't quite add up, and then, yeah, it just wouldn't let me spawn any more bells. Who knows why? Anyways, we've got some strawberries that I want to send over. And that is all the strawberries. We've got too many pallets. Once again, already hitting the pallet limit. Well, let's put this wall into storage and then strawberries we'll put in storage as well no sorry wall into the clue factory and strawberries into storage so yeah having a look yeah we need some more wall in here no worries we've got 17,000 litres of wall I think this is from like two days with our sheep in that so I'll just go and put those in there. There we go. So how much wool has I got now in total? Yeah, it was an easy fill up even more. If we, if we have more sheep in that, maybe that's something we can go with. I was on about with the chickens a few episodes ago about upgrading that pen, so perhaps I could put the upgrade pen over here perhaps. Or have more sheep in that perhaps, but depends on what we go with in terms of production chains to make clothes and that and other bits. they'll be used because with what I'm planning on go with our next three production chains yeah three I think yeah they'll be used up so how much have we got in here lots of bread and a few cake pallets so I think where's all of our extra pallets come from because yeah I just want to have a look at that, because most of our stuff is set to sell. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12 there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 20. 2, 4, 6, 8. Maybe a couple of egg pallets, but we sold some loose yesterday. Yeah, 4. Four, infills creeping up. Ah, I've got these over here. And obviously, one sheep one that's just spawned up as well. So, let me quickly do these six. So, yeah, I'll get them loaded, transferred over. Obviously, you know what I do in that. Show me times before, so I just do it off camera, and then we can finally start doing the cotton planting.
so yeah, transfer some stuff over. And also notice that gold is at its best price now. And cakes are bread or so at a reasonable price, so let's go and sell those, because we can still do with make some money. Yes, gold is accepted there. Okay. There we go. And sell a bunch of cakes and bread as well. And those get a lot of money from that rock picking we done, all that gold we produced. 177 grand. Plus a additional. 28 grand, so just over 210 grand there. That puts us back up to 358 grand after spending, what was it, like 1.5 mil on the BGA or something like that? Where's our finances? Yeah, 1.6 mil on the BGA. And the rest, well, uh, was that 125 grand came from? I think that was from. Is it from one of these? I'm not too sure. But anyway, so let's detach that for a second. Because we want to grab the methane. So, where's that two over here? There we go. Oh, that one's almost empty. Oh, small size bells is needed. Dang it, didn't set to distribution. Oopsie. Well, I was like wondering what was going on there, but oh, he was that full. There was no methane in there, so. But yeah, I just want to have a look here. 80,000 years of digesting. So I want to get rid of this, right? So if I do that, central liquid in your storage. Is that the one? I don't think it is. No, it's... Oh, hell no. We want methane storage. Because, yeah, that's just storing... Ah, I thought it would have stored the raw methane, but... Apparently it does not. Yeah, electricity storage, that's fine. Methane, not so much. So, right, that's over here. That's one of the knees at the front. No, that's electricity. Oh no, so let's fill up with methane. Oh yeah, these are the methane storage. So we're sorting that, sorting that. So, nothing in there, so. So that. Oh, what's this weird fuel texture still doing here? Before I paint that over. Let's grab some asphalt. Double check, make sure there's no weird textures left over. We have a field there. Yeah, apart from that. Okay, so that's all of that. So now we can sell. Obviously, if we need it in the future, then yeah, I'll put it back in if we get too much. That's thing, if we need methane just on its own, we can just use the other production over there for the gold production now, or no, the methane production by the gym. But yeah, we may as well go and sell this. So I can set it here, or it does. 
want to sell everything container? I guess not. Ah, so it was this one then. Makes sense since he didn't put methane in. So I saw that. So whilst that's doing that, I'll just have it over here because we need the case anyway to do the uh, what's it? The cotton seed in because I'm gonna do the headland with this. I've got the other John Deere ready in that, but okay, so that's all up here ready. This is topped up with fuel. And 54 grand got for in there, so not too bad. Almost at a half a mil now. And I think before the end of the day, what we also do... Yeah, 1.2 million litres of signage. I think this production chain is just going to be a constant cycle off, keeping it topping it up and that. But yeah, our next like moment session, which will be in April, master's going to be for the hay. Then July silage, and then from those two cuts later on in the year, we will make the rest of that as TMR. Also, I do have some ideas for a better fermenter because we still got chewing. 200,000 litres off site in there. Everything's been processed and all that. So yeah, this is going to be a window way of making digestate. And obviously making a ton of money. But, it's better. Overall, it's going to be more profitable. And I've still got another year and a bit of episodes left to go, so... So yeah, we'll transfer this thing back over. And with that done, so go and spend another 14 and a half grand just to get this one here, so that one's ready. I think it's still got some such bells in there, hence why that's not emptying. Anyway, so we'll just reverse this up. There we go, let's go empty all of that. There we go. That's gonna fill up. Actually we'll go to here, so Should turn that on. Turn that on. So just having a look. So make sure everything's on. That could be distributed. Very quick production of that. Well, let's skip until two o'clock so we'd have to remember how that left on. We're just making so much money. Okay, that's being consumed. There we go. That's what I needed. So now that's back down to 20,000 litres. And that has finished, so that's better. Actually, how much does that consume per hour? So that can process oof, 500, 100,000 litres an hour. Interesting. So that's a pretty much high capacity zone. So what? Maybe let's stop this here a sec. Let's go and use this instead. 
then we'll just keep sledging here. But yeah, this is a quite dirty as well. Actually, look at that muck. You might muck on this. Pretty sure it's just been washed at some point, but hey who? We'll grab that so of signage and head back to the BGA. So I've got signage over here. Also to spend some money on a little dolly. We got the was it the Nidder Schnuffelstock. So it was basically a dolly attached to these two trailers. Before we fill that up with digest eight. And really that's only what, less than a day. So I think we'll fill both of these up, so actually Rather than having that out, could we just put... Oh, where is it to? Under silos. No, that's necessary storage. I think it's part of the warehouse package. Or do you get the... On the floor, liquid storages and all that. A million litres for that. Or we can get those ones here for like half a million. That would be nice. And that's with liquids. But yeah, it's these ones here. 30 grand. For these, so yeah, potentially ooh, jittery camera collisions and all that. We can just put that over there, and if needed, put a couple of these down. Well, I'll leave it at this for now. We'll see how it goes. If it fills up very quickly, then you get the watch short. Uh, these do take a while to empty. It's filling up slowly. I think there is like a Mark II version which has like two or three times the up and load speed of these, but you know what? I'm happy for now, so that's just bugging all the way. That doesn't need anything urgently. And really, look at that. We're already at 45,000 litres, so I'm not too worried. I'm thinking about is the electricity storage, so I think you know what? Let's go put a couple more of those down. Because with how much we're going to be using and producing, so doing that, so basically, it's just these we want over here at the end. Electricity storage. Well, it is a generator. Can't put that in. Perhaps could put some of those in. Just have more ways off. Producing electricity from all methane. So that is all right. So that does that. So that is four thousand to ah. So you know what? Is this really just a smaller version of that? Is it? So 4,000 to 3,200, 2,000 to 1,600. So actually the generator... No, no, we don't have that. That's the thing, like, we lost half of our money straight away there. 50 grand just chuck down the drain. Perhaps that's why the mod does say actually in the description of tested in a new game save to avoid, I guess, any issues like that, but... I'm 
sure this can work as well. Do I want to waste... I'm not going to waste our money, but... Experiment with our money on that. What's this one like? Generator 2. So, exactly the same. Alright, fair enough. But what's the price differences in these two? Have a look a sec, so... So that is 65 grand. And our one over here is... No, not that one. Was it that one? What was the small one we had? No, not that one. Where, where did I get those from? Ah, right, so... Electricity storage again from this one here. Found it, but so. And that's the one from the Planet T one. Ah, right, fair enough. Obviously, we've got our methane cells here, but don't want to do that. So actually, really, we want a bunch of those in. If it's sent it by a factor of two, because yes, we've got one there. Something like that. Electricity charge, alright, so that goes in there. And, ah, right, fair enough. That makes sense, so I'm guessing. Yeah, no, we'll just see that out for now, we'll just see how that goes. It's very complicated, that is. <laughs> well, yeah, certainly a lot more complicated than I first expected. So, you've got this should be like squared up to it, so you know what? Rather than have to go on that, that angle. Make it go like that. So now if we reverse up. There we go. Line it up. There we go, that's better. That's all that done. So you know what? I am happy with that. So you know what? Ooh, let me see that at times two. So now finally, I can actually do the main task of what we're actually going to do today. Just sorting that out. Well, yeah, it took a bit of a while to get rid of plans, but the who? Yeah, so we've got our mega cotton seeding to do, and this is going to be a big job for us, even with two planters and that. The thing is, the worker is okay, but this ain't a, your typical field. It's rough and that around the edges, so many curves and that, so... It'll do some of it, and you know what? Some help is better than no help at the end of the day. 
I think that's kind of the mindset you got to really have with worker on this kind of field. So make sure I pass it. But no, not sugar beet, but cotton in. But we can do sugar beet next month, right? Yeah, could do sugar beet, corn, no, sugar beet, oats, sunflower. Maybe we'll just do sugar beet said rather than canola and all that for the oils. Not canola, sunflower oil on that field up there. So I'm thinking if we say get 44, expand that, get rid of those trees. Because there is a mobile wood cell point, so we can perhaps grab that. We're coming back as a not lorry or a truck in that. You know, pick up and then just sell wood here. And then we can just go bang, bang, create a field. Bear in mind, we'll get some gold out of that with the rock picking. And then in the future, we can look at expanding up here. That's grapes, right? What's that? Oh, an old vineyard, perhaps. That we'll have a look at, but... So yeah, so much work to do, so I think if we expand the field, by plot 44, make that into our sugar beet field. Do we still have the sugar beet harvester though? Because I think we sold that, didn't we? Yes. Hopefully that pops up in the used market like most of our equipment that we sell. But I very much doubt it. Oh, best turn those covers down. Don't get any dirt or dust into our seas and contaminate that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I doing here wrong? We can fast farm. So... Where does he fat to? There we go. So if heroes are here. What I do is I was like a mere peasant whilst we can fast farm. So we'll grab our favourite toy. Well, it was a tool, but it was a tool that enables us to enjoy our toys even more. It makes work go better and faster, so... so... yeah, I think once we do, like, the head and that, if we get the worker do... the top section of the field, as we're looking at it, and we do the bottom half... because this is where it's a bit more twisty and that... And from what I've experienced with the ploughing and the rock picking, the workers does struggle with that little iron over there. I was thinking like that iron as well, can you get rid of that? There we go, that's better now. We can actually do a bit of fast farming. So yeah, as always, this won't take us too long, maybe half an hour to an hour perhaps, so... Yeah, I'll just chill back, relax, in our cab, listen to some music, whilst we get this done. So yeah, we'll get this done, I'll see you folks in a few moments.
as well just had them product over whilst we had a worker doing some of the rolling in there and we've almost got 200,000 litres of digesting and we've made quite a bit of money usually we're getting about 14 grand per hour from all the products we're selling however with the additional of the electricity in that we're making and selling we're making an additional 30 grand an hour that is quite frankly astonishing. But now, let's sell this joint. Yeah, the major city here, where we make even more money. That money's going to go shooting up now. But also, if we go into our production chain here. We do have an option for Surrey. So what I'm going to do is turn that on. Turn on Surrey. Because we do have a quite a bit of Surrey. About so making sure everything's switched on. Surrey and Surrey in. So yeah, that gives you an error, an error. so you have to put Surrey in via the central liquid manure storage. Then that'll get transferred over. So wait a minute, let's have a look here. So ah right, so yeah, this is two process, so some of it will go into the liquid fermenter, and the rest will go into uh, the fermenter 400. I mean, so that mine that is shooting up. And how much sir do we have now? I think 130,000 litres? 126, so not too bad. Again, that's a couple of months of work. They do need more straw by the end of the day and definitely more food. Chickens are doing alright. I think we're struggling to keep up with the grains we're getting from the greenhouses, but. And sheep, they'll need more food as well. well. Actually, some of our sheep are getting quite old now, so we may have to look at getting some new sheep in because obviously, I think it is after like 36 months they start to slow down the wool production. I know with cows, after 36 months, I think it is, they start to lose how much milk they can produce. Because, yeah, we bought those when they were 12 months old, it's been 8 months ready. 
But anyways, the final total of our Duchess A is what? 650? 648. We made a quarter of a million from Duchess A alone. Quarter of a million. And that's just from using the silage. You know? Imagine if we add the additional off liquid manure, i.e. sorry. How much more money we can be getting. So yeah, that's definitely gonna be enough to fund our little plan of Yeah. Getting a buck ton of stuff for the grapes now. Because when can we plant grapes? That's from March till May. Fair enough. Yeah, let's go and load this up and then get this moved over. But before we do any of that, and for I forget, let's just go take care of our cows a sec. So we've got a tray here of straw. Onto that tip side, like the green door. I still was going to have issues of it skipping and getting caught on the roof. Well, you know, perhaps if we do it this way, it won't get caught. Or will it? Yeesh. Yeah, it's getting caught still. If I try and draw it backwards, yeah. How much is that for the cows? Well, just a little bit more needs. So I'll set that to that. In theory, that shouldn't catch. Now, something we do know that won't catch is this. So. That's why we use this trader, such a good trader, as I get caught in the door. Come on, there we go. I'll just put the TMR in. Somewhere. Ah. This is just silage, not TMR. That's my powerful I set to TMR. Shut the way. Nope. Trash with us, do we these? And as we were when we was doing the fast farming with the cedar, it loves to go on two wheels and well, technically three wheels and be a motorbike or technically it would be a tricycle since it's three wheels up. Actually, no, well, no, no, so it's four wheels we've got here. Yeah, two on the front. But yeah, sort of as a imitation mirror bike, kind of, but. Anyways, got emptied. Now we'll put Tiamar in. Yeah, 600,000 litres we've got left after that mistake off setting. 100,000 litres for like eight grand. Ouch. Oh, the bar serves us in, I guess, in. So, we've got enough till about the end of the year, to around November into December. So, we would need to make more TMR by the end of the year, but thinking just doing this of doing the cut, as we said, in April and July, combined with the straw we've got, that'd be enough TMR for a while. So what's that's underway? Let's go and take this over. Up into the BGA. Alright, so here we are. It's all go in there, I'm guessing. Quite a big trigger 
point. I'll put a little bit in. We'll start putting it in and have a look. So that should be in here, right? There we go. Oh no, it's not that. Oh, there it is. It's going in there, so... Yeah, it's a pretty big trigger area. But now, so... Wait till it's going. So we'll go in there. It's being used. Now, let's just sort of skip, skip it along. And see how much we can get over the line, so... Slow down before he's caught, just shoot out and then jump again. So six, seven, three. Let's say, let's say six, seven, four. Is yeah, fruit for grand. Okay, that's the next one in there. So now that will get consumed. Make sure we should put more. Yeah, some more sludge in here. Before I forget. Now I think this is going to be a process that means. Constant maintenance overnight. Okay, that was empty. This is empty. Not quite. That's a sorry, I didn't actually realise. We have a look. That is 840, 480 cycles a month. And that is 2480 cycles per month. So that is twice as quick almost. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is. I wasn't going to get three gram, three four gram per hour. Uh, spend some time overnight. We do a night shift of just getting this constantly topped up with all the sludge we've got left over, and then we'll see where we stand in the morning or before we hit the capacity of everything. And alrighty then. So skip ahead till tomorrow, next month in March. And yeah, this is working out really well for us, so... Actually, we also did have 44,000 litres of should be cut in storage, which I did not realise, so... That's gone in and been processed. So what's the money maker is turn out. we got 63... Oh, sorry, 68,000 litres of digest eight. But... We've got a 370,000 year load here, so I think what that means. Sell that and get about 400 grand out of this. I mean, seriously, that is a lot of money, which I did not realise, but. Oh well. Also, we sold all of our sugar, because all of our productions were full of sugar, so I went and sold those. Try to get in the way I can get both these in. If I can. Ah, so there's only one that will let me do at a time. No? Oh, that's it. So we unload that and unload that. And now we'll just see the money coming in. So whilst that's underway, I think what we need to do, we're in March, so we need to get the planters and that. So we'll go and grab that. Because, yeah, obviously we've got the sugar bee going in. Also, field extension. So I think what we should do is do that, so... And actually to explore the land as well, 
I think we can actually do it with a pickup truck. Like, finally, four E or so episodes in, we can actually get a pickup truck. Well, we could have gone ages ago, but it was never a real priority. Ooh, I do like this one. Just the extreme version. Yep, yeah, you know what? Go with that. All the extras. Do you want a diesel? Or supercharged V12? Okay, let's go with the V12. All spikes. Nope. Let's go with some chonky BKT tires. All the lights. Standard. And I think, oh, let's go with copper. So, which one? Oh, only changes to spare. Can't do copper on here. Well, that sucks. Got toothpaste color. Biscuit. Olive. I know what, we'll go with a chrome bed then. If we go with that. And just simple white. Yeah, I do get the chrome effects like that, so... Ooh, that's the hydraulics. Go with that. I know what, we'll go with that. And also, we've got some eggs to sell, so we'll go and grab those. Another full pile of eggs. There he is, we'll grab those in a bit. But yeah, 386 grand. Just from that. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why I keep getting like the pop up of like load the eggs and attach them. Not load them, attach them. Absolutely no idea what's going on there. Let's just sell those eggs. And that is 34 grand for those. Yeah, you know what, just another 34 grand, just to cover our costs and all that. But yeah, so what we need to do is start doing field expansion. Getting the sugar bee in. Possibly take an exploration. Ooh. Ooh. Wolf. Whoa. Man, that flips. I mean, that just picks up and goes. So let's do it again. So 77 and hard left. One. Oh no, we flipped it. <laughs> What's that? Let's see in a minute, and we've already flipped our truck and turtled it. So, oh well. But yeah, let's we'll just keep on getting the money in. We've got another 
are formed out of digested cell. So you know what, let's head back over there on that. So, detach you. I think at the end of the episode here, we will just go and sell one more of those, shall we? Seventy nine thousand euros after I just seen. So yeah, it's got our little truck and has a little laugh for that, so should get about a two eight five grand for this. I mean just amount of money we're getting is absolutely ridiculous because if we have a look at our finances let's say alright just in this month alone we are 800k up we made 207k from the BGA so we get some more money obviously from the harvest income that is the digestate and 268 grand from the product so that ain't too shabby bear in mind that is a lot of sugar now because like, the amount we're getting from the BGA and all of our products in total has gone out from like 34 grand to like 28, so. Alright, should be much left. 3, 2, 1, and 0. Hmm, like 6 grand, a bit more than I thought. But yeah, just look at that, we're making so much consistently, month after month after month. Also, we got the. Honey cell, you didn't get too much from that, about 40, 50 grand for that, I think. Maybe a few other things here and there. But yeah, main thing is field expansion. And so, yeah, you know what? Let's buy the fields now. So, we want 44 and we'll go with 34. Obviously, had looked at 33 and there was nothing there. Of course, there used to be a vineyard there once upon a time, but it's been demolished, so. But I still think we could try, you know, restoring that. Get it back to its form of glory. But yeah, so, anyway, so that's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Perfect comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not trying yet, then please consider. But for to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's be Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.